Hello Gemini, this is your reading for the 6th through the 7th, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I have four cards that jumped out here, alright Gemini, and more we're trying to. So let's see what these are. Six of Pentacles, okay, then we have the Empress, very Taurus energy here. We have the Chariot. And we have the Queen of Wands. Hmm. I feel like there's somebody that you feel that, um, you know, you can have everything with. Okay. You feel like this person is very loving, very giving. You feel like you could be successful with this person. Um, and I feel that you're very attracted to this person. Okay. Very attracted to this person. I feel like this person has a very fiery spirit. Um, and they and they like to they like to travel they like to go out um, and they take pride in themselves and their family okay is what I'm getting here for sure a lot of you are feeling um, hmm very like gorgeous right now and, um, and you're making strides you're making strides too Okay, let's see. We have the King of Pentacles there. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is, um, somebody has their eye on you guys here. All these cards. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Somebody definitely sees success with you guys. Wanting to move on with you. Wanting to be with you. Wanting to offer you love. Um, this is very, very, very strong. Very strong here. Hmm. And they're falling like right where they, these cars are just telling a story here. And I feel like you guys, you're sharing this energy with someone, okay? You're sharing this energy with someone, somebody that wants to be committed with you. I don't feel like this person has come towards you yet, but I feel like they are on their way, for sure. Um, Taurus, Leo, energy, I feel. Um, they want to be with you. They see happiness with you. But this person is really not sure if you will see the same in them is what I'm getting. But I think that you do. I think you do. And I think that this person um, probably thinks that you have no clue about how they're feeling about you. But I think that you do. Because I think that you guys are very, very intuitive. Very intuitive. Very like very alluring very people people admire you not only the way that you look but they admire the way that you are as a person five of wands there they're not sure if you know you're going to want them they're not sure if you're going to want them and they're struggling with this somebody really wants to move forward with you they see that you have, um, they see that you guys have like transformed. And it's almost like you have transformed before their eyes is what I'm getting here. And they feel like they didn't give you everything that, um, that they should have given you before. Like they, they didn't offer you what you deserve before. But now it's like they're all in. They're thinking about this heavily. And I wouldn't be surprised if this person comes towards you soon. Because um, it's weighing heavily on them, I feel. The Five of Pentacles. Mm. This person wants to be there for you through thick and thin. And they also feel they're very hurt. Because you may have rejected... Um, you may have rejected them before or either they rejected you before they turned their back on you before and they weren't there for you um but they're really hurt and sad about that now really hurt and sad about that now 
Hmm. And they feel like you're just not going to, you know, allow them into your life here. We have temperance. Gaining balance and harmony. We have the Knight of Wands. Moving on. Moving on. Going towards the things that um, you feel like are good for you here. I really want to see what this Knight of, I mean, this King of Cups is about. Because, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting something a little different from that. Why is the King of Cups here? Who is this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups? Hmm. Somebody that was ignoring you before is what I'm getting here. And they're also in denial about, you know, what it is that they truly want. They're in denial about being hurt, about, you know, over whatever happened between you guys here. The strength. They want you to offer again, is what I'm getting. If you guys have offered something to them before, they're wanting you to offer again. Okay. And I feel like this time, if you guys do offer, they will accept. This is a stubborn person too, I feel. Because just because it's the King of Cups does not mean that, um, you know, it's just emotions, honestly. Yeah, they represent emotional stability, but with the King of Cups facing away from the Five of Pentacles, it's like this person has a stubborn energy, like they're not trying to see, um, recognize, address their own hurt, their own pain, their own emotions even, you know. Hmm. Let's see what this King of Pentacles is here for. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? This person's thinking about it a whole lot. They're thinking about offering an apology, something to you. Oh gosh, okay. Look at this. We have three cards here. We have the Knave of Swords. This person's probably been watching you. Um, be happy. And the Knave of Wands. Hmm. They're watching you be happy. And they're wanting to be happy with you. Ten of Pentacles. This person wants everything with you. I feel like this person really wants to be in a relationship with you. If you're not already in a relationship with this person. Because they have very strong feelings for you. But the only thing that makes me feel like, you know, you guys are not in a relationship with this person. is because we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Knave of Swords here. The Knave of Swords does not speak a whole lot. This person's doing a lot of thinking about what it is that they could have with you and possibly coming to offer something to you because they see you as the freaking empress. They see you as their happiness. You know, they want to move forward with you. My gosh. And then the empress jumps out again. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what this five of wands is here for. Why is the five of wands here? What is this conflict about? What is this conflict about? What is this conflict about? Whether or not you will take their offer. Whether or not you will want to start over. They're conflicted over this. If you will accept whatever it is that they're trying to offer you. Okay. So we have um, Taurus energy here, Cancer, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel um, Virgo or Capricorn maybe here as well. Okay. Maybe Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody that did not, um, they took you for granted basically before. Wanting to come in and offer you something. And I feel like you guys know exactly who this is. Um, and I think you're open to it, for sure. If they are coming, correct. Okay? 